It's it's weird, man. How you know after Scream, and and I never saw anything, and I thought about, it, and then Ghost Whisperer was on for a few years, I never saw anything, and then, like I said, my dad. Now, I do feel like in the last five years, my I do feel my last house was haunted. Mm. There was shit that was so crazy, just banging of no wind, and it was a banging sound in the walls. Interesting. And it would happen every night at 3.15. Yeah. And my buddy stayed there when I was gone, and he did it too. And he was he, like, fuck he that. He filmed it. Yeah, he left. And I, and I stayed there by myself, and I was like, and I think this chick that we talked about brought a ghost. Mm. And then Alyssa would say there she saw a little girl. Interesting. So I, I that well, and since about 2016, I started like going, this stuff, there's more to it. Yeah. And I hopefully it's the science part of it. And that's and that's the thing that like everyone's like, oh, you think they'll ever figure it out? The only way they're ever gonna figure out if ghosts are real or not is if there's money to be made. <laughs> 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 like, because how do you like monetize a ghost? You can't. Well, you haven't <laughs> met the carnival. <laughs> but you love aliens more. Uh, no, I, I, I. It's more fun to hunt for ghosts because when you go like. UFO hunting, you're just kind of like looking up at the sky. I know. I saw, the crazy thing is I saw so many great things in the sky, and Jack would ruin them all. Oh, satellite. Because he told me if it's a straight trajectory, it's always a satellite. Yeah. Or oh, it's a plane really far away. Yeah. Or it's fucking a meteor. Yeah. Like, you but we did get some weird shit, though. We did see something kind of weird. Kind of. Yeah. Ben was always like, nah. <laughs> That's Ben, though. Yeah, he was very <laughs> practical. Yep. Because this is the people that are so into it, you saying you want it. So yeah. the fact that they, you guys are so like, no, let's be honest about it yeah. is awesome because you're real about it. Uh, how, how far are we from di full disclosure, do you think? I think we're going to see full disclosure in our lifetime. I think they're doing the staggered, like, just leaking it out. Like, hey, let's talk about, you know, wow, we've got this weird stuff on camera and we got this, we got that. I think, you know, dude, you should get Jeremy Colbell on here. Do you remember the would guy? he do it? Oh, he would do your podcast. Yeah, Jeremy's great. He was great. He, I, he's been on Rogan multiple times. Yeah, yeah. You, I get you. I get Jeremy on here. Are you boys with him? Oh yeah, yeah I would Jer love that. So I was with Jer. I, I first met Jeremy. Uh, he released a documentary called Patient Seventeen. I don't know if you've seen it, but that's when he. It was following a guy who had an alien implant removed, and I was there at the surgery when they removed the implant. Okay, so it was one of those. Um, I think I remember seeing this. It was like above his knee. Yes. It was a little yeah. black thing. Yeah, yeah. And what was it? The only thing I could tell you it looked like, because I, I handled it, because it was a, a guy Why did you go? I was friends with a guy who passed away. His name was Dr. Lear, and he was a UFO like expert, and he, he would remove alien implants from people. Okay. And the craziest thing about that surgery was that when they cut into his knee to get it, it was moving. Like, they, they would try and go grab it, and it would fucking move. It was, I believe, was it this one or another one? I believe it was emitting some kind of radio signal. Like, when they held up, like, a thing to tell if it was emitting anything, like, a, a signal, it was. Okay. Um, and when they pulled it out, to me, to me, it looked like kind of like a kidney stone, but, mm -hmm. like, coppery color. Like, black and copper. Okay. Whereas kidney stones are kind of gray. Okay. Um, and... Yeah, it was fucking, it was crazy. But yeah, so that was the first time I met Jeremy, and then we can, then we connected over the years. But I think I saw stuff like that, but it was like the the metals and stuff weren't of this yes, earth. Yeah, it was me meteoric iron are in it, and like there's all sorts of weird shit in it, which is like they're like that shouldn't be inside of someone. And it, so they didn't know if it was a tracker or yeah, they don't know what it is. They they believe, you know, the the. the the theory is is that people who are abducted get these implants put in them, and that's how they get tracked. Kind of like a dog with a chip. Wow. Okay, so you're more aliens or more ghosts? I spend more time looking for ghosts, but the alien stuff is what really interests me. But it that's boring to you. It's, I mean, alien shows are tough to continue past the season two and three because it's all kind of repetitive. You're just looking at the sky. You could be filming any sky. It's not that exciting to film it. Oh, I just feel like that we got to have disclosure soon. We will. I absolutely think. I think and, and as space travel becomes commercialized they can't i mean okay what how many astronauts have been to space maybe 100 150 mm -hmm. like when you know once 
Elon's was it Starship gets built, you know, they're going to surpass 150 people in space within the first two years. Like you, the amount of people going to space, they're not going to be able to lie about it anymore because there's going to be so many witnesses to it. Yeah. And, and I don't, you know, again, I, if you don't want to talk about this, but we were talking off camera and you said your mother. Oh yeah, dude. If you, some fucking weird shit with my mom when we were filming, you know, she, we were filming, so you were filming, you just filmed a special yeah, for context. Yeah. We were filming an episode with my mom. She wanted to do a ghost hunt. So I took her along. Uh, we're at this hotel and yeah, she, she, you know, I don't want to, I'm not going to give it all away, but mid investigation, you know, she, she collapsed and, uh, you know, it's the whole thing's on camera and it's really fucking weird. It's really weird. And that's why she was just in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. And she was, they, they ran every test, every test of manageable. Cause I, I thought she's having a seizure, she's having a stroke, it's a heart attack, whatever. They ran every test. Everything was fine. They have no idea what it was. And she collapsed for a while, you said. Yeah. Yeah. She was out for a while. Yeah, for sure. And it was, it was wow. really intense and like. I, I've shown the footage to doctors and they're like, we have no idea what that is. And that was on a ghost hunt. Yeah. Not saying it was, I'm not saying it was like paranormal and she was fucking possessed, but at this point, it, that is, is as good an explanation as anything else because anything else is, we have no idea what it was. So that's your most intense. Yeah. Yeah. Probably as far as like physical reactions. I mean, I've been on investigations where people were allegedly scratched, I'm so, I'm so like with the, with people get scratched during ghost hunts, I'm, I'm always, cause I'm like, why would a ghost just, if a ghost can scratch you, a ghost can punch you in the fucking mouth. Mm -hmm. So why is he just going to punch you in the mouth? <laughs> when, when you saw this cloaked figure, are you familiar with the night hag? The night, the, well, I believe that it was, it was the night hag that, that would, the old lady that was, was leaning over me was a full on hag. So I have a heart issue, but you know, it's, and it used to be much more out of rhythm, um, called AFib. Yeah. And in the nineties when I was broke, I stayed in a little place in Koreatown and at one point, this is the most of all of them. I've had it a few times. That's, uh, what's the sleep paralysis? Yeah. Sleep paralysis. And I felt very dark and I remember it was it, like, it's the shaking of the, it's like that, right? And so you're there and you're aware of it and you're like, ooh, you're like, I know I'm asleep, but this isn't right and I got to wake up. Mm -hmm. And I felt, that was the only time I ever felt something pulling. Was I above my body? No, but I felt I was being yanked. Mm -hmm. And I heard like, now it could all be in my mind. Yeah. And I did everything. I said, move your arm, move your arm, move your arm. And I did. And I got up. Yeah, that was my. I've had sleep paralysis maybe five times, and I always thought it was overtired. Mm -hmm. I never had what they say, the breathing, but the night hag, which is yeah. this person that sits on your chest. Yeah. So you saw this like witch. Yeah, she wasn't sat on my chest. I was laying in bed, and I woke up and I just look and I see the cloak figure right here, and the old hag just leaning over and looking at me. And I she just had black circles for eyes. She was like gray white. Like it looked like her hair was like long and straggly and she was just looking at me and then she would look at, I'm getting like the shit, like the, the goosebumps Ooh. talking about it. But then she would look at this cloaked figure and then look back at me. So there's two figures, two figures, the cloaked figure and the old hag were like leaning over me. And I just was like, you know, I, it was funny. That thing that just popped into my head was anytime anyone said, and I'm not a religious man at all, but, um, it just, everyone says just recite the Lord's prayer and it goes away. And I fucking just started doing that. And I closed my eyes, tied the Lord's Prayer, and I will open my eyes and I'm gone. Evil or alien or ghost? I think it is a... See... Recent, too? Uh, two, two and a half years ago. Okay. okay. Um, I think it's... I don't know. I think I think that there are, there are certain entities, you know, in the paranormal world, you call them elementals. You know, they're these like ancient spirits that have been here forever. Mm -hmm. um, I don't necessarily think it's an elemental, but I don't think it's evil demonic. I just think it's some 
So I don't, because so many people have this experience. So many people see it. So many people, there's got to be something to it. If it's all the figment of our imagination, why do people have it when they've never known about it? Mm-hmm. Like, I just, it doesn't add up for me. And so this, I, I think it's, I mean, you, I, if you would, if you were pulling from like the Catholic, uh, kind of ghost hunting school book, they would say it's demonic. Mm -hmm. because it starts to oppress you and suppress you and then can lead to, you know, possession. And, you know, there's all these stages of, of possession. Um, and they think that, you know, and they would say that that is a part of it uh, as, as it was kind of told to me, but I don't know. I, I, I think it, I, I just think maybe there are certain entities, energetic forces that just exist all around us that we don't know. Some good, some bad, you know, mm -hmm. some, a lot of people see angels. Mm hmm. Dude, it's fascinating, bro. I could talk to you all day. Um, oh, we got we got four days to hang out in Illinois, <laughs> yeah, so we can. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's let's. This is a good spot. Let's tell people where they can find you. You want to drop uh, your socials? Sure. I'm on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Everything's at Jack Osborne. Um, and yeah. When are the shows? What's your next batch of shows? The next batch of shows will be this, and I think it's coming out. It's going to be in the fall of this year. So God, it take forever. I know. To come yeah. Out. Cause they, they do ghost Toba. They want it to be like the big Halloween thing. So I think they're saving hours for like a, around Halloween. So we're about to go on a hunt and it's, it's your show is, is, is what's the show called? This one's night of terror, night of terror. And then you have another show. I have, on? I have, I have, portals, I have portals to hell. Yes. Night of terror. Um, and then Fright Club, but I don't think that's coming back. And this is on Discovery Plus? Discovery Plus, yeah. Okay. Or Travel Channel, depends. Yeah, same shit. Okay. Dude, thank you for your time. Thank you. This is awesome. I appreciate this it. This was brother. a great chat. I can't wait to fucking go to that crazy we ghost We can have house. fun, dude. Bring some sage. Guys, like, subscribe, watch Jack's stuff. He's amazing. Peace. Peace.